we want to talk about those four American hostages, what happened there, all of them from the West Coast. Their yacht was hijacked off the coast of Somalia. They were shot by their captors. And Jim Shuto has been tracking this story for us. Uh, we're, we're just heartbroken, Jim. Well, Robin, a horrible end while negotiations for the American safe return with the U.S. Navy were apparently underway. But this is what we know about what happened. U.S. forces circling the yacht quest heard gunfire about 1 o'clock Eastern time this morning. They responded. They boarded the ship, but found those four Americans dead. And despite immediate medical attention, were not able to save them. The victims, Gene and Scott Adam of Southern California and Phyllis McKay and Bob Riggle of Seattle, Washington, their families have been notified with the sad news. On board, U.S. forces discovered an astonishing 19 pirates involved in this attack. Two of them were killed as U.S. forces boarded, 13 captured and detained. Four others had been found earlier. The bodies of two other pirates found on board this vessel. And this had grown into a major U.S. operation. Four Navy ships involved, including the aircraft carrier Enterprise, a cruiser and two destroyers. We know that one of those destroyers was within, within sight of this ship as this unfolded. And yesterday, they started contacting the pirates by radio, doing their best to get a safe return for the Americans. But, of course, it ended very sadly. It did, indeed. And, Jim, I know you reported extensively a couple of years ago that daring rescue in the Indian Ocean that was uh, highly successful and the Navy SEAL snipers taking out the pirates. And that was the hope that there would be another successful uh, rescue. And, and, of course, questions are apparently some mistakes could have been made. Well, Big question now whether this was a botched rescue. What, what the Americans say is that negotiations were still underway. They say they did not board this vessel until they heard gunfire on board, and that's when they found that the Americans had been killed. But I've been speaking to people involved in these sorts of rescues, and they said with 19 pirates on, on a yacht of this size, below 100 feet, that would be an extremely difficult rescue, very difficult to get the Americans out of there safely. And we know, looking back to the rescue of the captain of the Marisk, Alabama, in 2009, uh, very difficult difficult. That was a, a very lucky, fortunate ending. So this is a very sad ending. And, and Jim, we also know that in recent months that the hostage takers, the pirates, have been getting much more ruthless. Absolutely. Europeans involved in fighting piracy there found evidence of torture, murder, starvation of hostages, possibly the pirates applying more pressure as they seek these million-dollar ransoms, George.